let's see what we can do with shapes in Microsoft Word. Shapes, and then you have tons of shape. You have many category like recently used shapes is where you use some recently, you use recently some shapes, and then you have lines of shapes, rectangles, basic shapes, black arrows, equation shapes, and flow chart. We have stars and banners, and then we have callouts. So we have different and different and different of shapes to use in our project to make the document even nicer. So for example, let's start a quick fun. Okay, I'm gonna go with a smiley face and draw it in here and hold the shift key in order to make it a good aspect ratio and then bring in bringing it here. And the p funny part is whenever you can, you just go over this, so it makes it angry and smiley. So we're gonna go with the smiley face. And all of a sudden, you can see that there is another menu is pumping up, okay? And it says insert shape, group shape styles, word styles, text, accessibility, arrange, and size. So you can see different things. But the one I use myself personally a lot is really text box in Microsoft Word. So I use text box a lot. So this is it. So I'm gonna type a rand on it. So in this part, random memory, random text. So I, we already did, and it's really looking stylish. So there you go. Okay, and into this menu, we have a lot of things to cover. Like, like we can also insert another shape as well. And then we can also edit points or change this to another shape as well. Or we can edit points of this to any that, for example, like this. So you can see right now the text is looking like that, which is really not lo looking nicer. So that's the edit point. Also, we have rewrote connectors, like it's using for these things, okay? If you, you bring these things, so that option will be available. We have also draw a text box, which we can draw another text box. And then, and then we have shape style. We have tons of shape style in here. You can see right now. And that's really the fun part that you can have a lot of style in here. And if you even didn't like this style, you bring another style. And that is the shape fail. You can bring shape fail as well. You can change it to any color you want it, like black or any color. We have also shape outline. Uh, you can see that right now. And we have also weight of that. And we have dashes as well to provide us. We have shape effect, like preset, like changing it to another. Let me just bring it down so you could see that. And we could, we could go to preset. And we can bring it like this. For example, this one looks really nice. So we can go with preset 4. We could go with shadow. Or we can go with reflection. This one looks really nice. Wow. And we have also these options to go with. Like, we can go with glow. But glow doesn't look like nice. It's really not looking too much good. Soft age as well. Doesn't work for this. Doesn't work. 3D rotation works for it. But this one looks amazing. It's like 3D. So that's about shape effect. Now, if you want more shape effects, so you go to any of these options. And then in here, you have tons of them like shadow, reflection, glow, soft age, 3D format, 3D rotation. All of that is available for you in order to help you to make the really text box even nicer and great. Uh, we have also word art style. You can see that. So let me select all so you can see how it changes. And you can manage to really change it to any option. Right. And then we have also like text fail. We have also like this one. We have also like shadow, reflection, glow, bevel, and all of that is available for us. And it's only for text only, not for the shape. As I wanted. So text direction is another part that you can decide on. For now, we have this direction. We can have another direction. We have another direction. 
and that's about it. We have align text as well. We can decide on this, like top, middle, bottom. And these are very easy to manage, like middle, like bottom, bottom. And we can also create link and link this text box to another. Link, let your text flow from one text box to another. So let me just do that. I'm gonna copy, paste it in here uh, as, I, as I did it. And this one comes in here. And I drop it. Now for this, let's do that. And if it see, it works. And let's go ahead. And I'm going to select the text. Create it. It doesn't work too much. Okay, that doesn't work. Okay, it's, it's fine. Uh, so that's fine if it didn't work. All right, let me do another technique. So maybe that works. So I'm going to select all, create link, and add text. So there you go. It flows from the another side to another side, as you could see that. For example, let, let me just say, uh, let me just say this one, OK? Uh, the embed you want to add. So now you can say space. Now whenever it's now it whenever it fills it is there's no space so it jumps from another side to another so you can see that right you can see that that it's really working so text example is a writing so there you go it flows from another to another. I created amazing <laughs> I created an amazing text box as you can see. So that's about the link. As you can see it's a link and you can break the link as well. All text is showing up the des description for object and for screen readers. And I will talk about a screen reader at the end of the course that you can just that you can really turn to read mode as well in here that it's possible. Positioning, it's the same thing. And wrap text, bring forward. These options are the same thing as picture, so there's no big difference on that. So that's about the uh, shapes that we learned so far. In the next lecture, we're going to make a a card uh, look like, of course, you can get it into the websites, online websites that are now available that, and they are printing it for you. You can do that online there. But let's do a little bit trick in here and to be creative and to work and to make a nicer card looking in Microsoft Word. Mm -hmm.